Voilà donc la réponse que je vous fais. Mais je voudrais profiter de African uh, solutions uh, uh, que, uh, should uh, les come from Africa. We don't need uh, solutions that are imposed by the North on the South. Solutions for the South should come from the South. And I don't think there is a financial solution to a financial crisis. Uh, well, I suppose you can redistribute financial resources uh, uh, by using uh, state budgets and so on, but that's not the solution. To, uh, that's not going to provide jobs. Uh, that's not going to provide investment. Uh, we need to promote investments because investments create jobs. Uh, and uh, that's, uh, that is why uh, uh, what is very important uh, is, and it was mentioned in, uh, uh, by the European Union, you have to invest in infrastructure uh, and you have to go even Alors, further than that. Que, uh, Unfortunately, one must say that uh, Europe uh, is distancing itself now from Africa. In the, history of, uh, the history of Europe would have been completely different uh, without Africa. Europe through uh, colonialism uh, and even through uh, what happened afterwards. Uh, European history and African history are intricately intertwined. But we get the feeling uh, that uh, in recent times, uh, uh, Europe has uh, distanced itself uh, from Africa. Uh, and we get the feeling uh, that uh, uh, certain uh, uh, policies are now anti-Africa. Well, uh, our Mexican friend uh, said something very similar uh, concerning the United States. Now, we get the feeling that uh, the European doors are closed to Africans, apart from a few exceptions uh, for intellectuals and scientists, uh, etc. Uh, uh, and uh, this uh, uh, cannot, uh, uh, this is no longer uh, possible. Africa is made up of uh, black Africa. Uh, it is made up of uh, different uh, states. And once again, we get the difference that there isn't a barrier. Uh, you cannot prevent us uh, from defining our own uh, strategy. Uh, we will make it uh, with or without you. We will strengthen our cooperation with Latin America. We will strengthen our cooperation with India and also with China, and we will make it. Now, even if we uh, consolidate this South-South uh, cooperation, to, uh, it will extend more to the United States uh, than to Europe. Uh, because the United States is an open country. In the United States uh, have uh, solved uh, uh, a lot of issues. Uh, we have uh, today uh, a black candidate uh, for uh, the role of president. Uh, so the United States uh, have now moved on beyond the color of the skin. Uh, Unfortunately, this is still a reality in Europe. So I, I realize that Europe is closing its doors to, our, to us, but it is a huge error. It is a grave mistake. Our friend here says that we need integration. To her. Integration. To her. I am uh, the spokesman of uh, certain a Africans who still believe in the uh, alliance between Europe and Africa. Uh, that's what I, I said at uh, the Lisbon summit, uh, uh, the uh, Europe-Africa summit. Uh, uh, we uh, suggested uh, an alliance uh, uh, with Europe, and their answer was, uh, no, thank you. And they shut our door, their doors to us. Uh, so, okay, as I said, fine, we will manage on our own.
The IMF is not a problem. I know all about the IMF. I am a head of state of a developing country since eight years. I know how the IMF works. At the outset, it was meant to help developing countries to provide compensatory aid when there was a financial crisis in developing countries. But now the IMF has moved to development. In Senegal, we have now uh, uh, come to the end of our uh, alliance with the IMF. But we are still uh, partners uh, of the IMF. Uh, IMF still provides us uh, with uh, some help when it comes to macroeconomic management. Uh, and so IMF can still continue to play this role to, uh, in Africa because uh, uh, such uh, a skill is lacking in Africa. Uh, but the uh, IMF is no longer uh, there uh, just uh, uh, to provide moral reports and certificates uh, uh, on the good behavior of uh, certain countries uh, so that they can benefit from more aid. What about the World Bank? The World Bank also plays a very positive role today. It gathers resources to make good investments in Africa. Let me just conclude with one statement. I would like to ask Europeans the following question. Can Europe truly do without Africa? Do you want to manage without Africa? Yes or no? You have to ask yourself this question. This question before you turn away from Africa. Yes, you're moving to Central Europe. Uh, that is fine. I'm a liberal. I have nothing against that. No quarrels with that. But why not us? Uh, it's true that a lot of Central Europeans now can move freely, uh, find uh, employment in Western Europe. Uh, so uh, what about us? Why not us? Uh, you have to answer this question honestly. Otherwise, we really get the impression that we are excluded, even though uh, we are a considerable power to contend with. We have natural resources. Uh, uh, we believe in the future. And let me say that you will never manage to do without Africa. Never. You have never managed to do so since ancient times. Uh, you need our resources. Uh, so don't tell us, uh, dear Africans, uh, uh, please stay at home and give us your resources. <laughs> Juste, monsieur, un tout petit élément d'information pour vous qui posiez la question à l'instant de la production et de la Just a, a, a small Donc, piece of information to, uh, to answer your question. To, uh, last year, uh, when the crisis uh, had uh, not really uh, reached uh, its, uh, its, uh, its summit yet, but the uh, subprime crisis had already began, begun, and I asked uh, uh, very important people in the United States uh, how they uh, uh, experienced uh, this whole crisis. Uh, everyone said, well, yes, uh, there are a few shocks but uh, the United States economy has always functioned in this way, from one crisis to another, from one bubble, speculative bubble, to another, to the next. So I would like to ask, uh, uh, as I asked uh, the person I was talking to, uh, uh, well, when would, what would be, will be the next bubble? And he said it would be the African, uh, the agricultural bubble, and that was uh, in April. 